3 to the 201 divided by 7, what is the remainder? So the remainder will be either 1. Sa pagpasok ng COVID, ang lahat ng school at review centers ay natigil. Liban lang, of course, sa Padilla Review Center. Ang lahat ay nag-migrate sa online. Iba-ibang pakulo, iba-ibang style. Ang mga estudyante sa pagpili, lalong nalito, lalong naguluhan. Pero para bigyan kayo ng mas clear idea on how we do it, actual in our online review, we created this channel para nakikita nyo ano talaga ang mangyayari, paano namin ginagawa sa loob ng Padilla Review Center Online. All links are found below this video. But before we begin with our discussion today, please don't forget to visit and to also like our FB page, Padilla Review Center. Nasa baba po ang link. Subscribe na rin po kayo dito sa YouTube channel namin. Huwag niyong kalilimutang i-click ang notification bell, choose all, para lagi po kayong updated and notified sa lahat ng post namin. Para po sa inyong lahat ng nagre-review ito at nag-aaral ng engineering. Pati po yung mga BS Math, lahat po nang nagtake ng math. Pero hindi po limited sa math. Buong civil engineering specifically ang didiscuss namin kasama po yung ibang subjects sa ibang engineering. Mga common subjects like mechanics and strength. So, kung may mga request po kayo na problem, ipadala lang po dito sa YouTube channel namin and then isya-shout out po namin yung kung kanino nanggaling yung problem na yon and hindi lang siya shout out isosol po namin. 3 to the 201 divided by 7. What is the remainder? So, the remainder will be either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7, right? Now, how do we do it? It's difficult if you do not know the method of calculator. Okay? Now, let me introduce the concept. Suppose we have 3 squared divided by 7. So, this is 9 over 7, right? You press on your calculator. So, 9 divided by 7. Your calculator will display this one, correct? So, all you need to do is press shift, fraction to decimal. So, this is 1 and 2 over 7. This is the quotient. This is the divisor. 2. And 2 is the remainder. So, therefore, this is basically 9 divided by 7. As we put it in during our elementary times, 1 remainder... 2. The remainder is 2. Right? So, you will just need fraction to decimal. What about 3 to the 4th? That's 81, right? 3 to the 4th divided by 7 equals, let's do it, 3 to the 4th divided by 7. That's 81 over 7. Then, fraction to decimal. So, fraction to decimal, you get here, 81 over 7, shift fraction to decimal, you'll have 11, 4 over 7. So, our remainder is 4, right? So, this is 11 remainder 4. What about 3 to the 10 divided by 7? Let's do it. So, let's replace 4 by 10 equals... Then shift, fraction to decimal. So you'll get here 84, 35, 4 over 7. So it means the remainder is 4. So this is 84, 35, remainder 4. Could you follow? What about 3 to the 12? 3 to the 12 divided by 7. What is this? So replace 10 by 12. Divided by 7, so shift fraction to decimal, this is 75, 9, 20, and 1 over 7. So the remainder is 
1. So, this is 75, 9, 20. Remainder, 1. What about 3 raised to 20 divided by 7? So, you'll have 3 raised to 20 divided by 7 equals. This time, it is expressed in terms of decimal. So, shift fraction to decimal, nothing will happen, right? So, how do we handle this now? Kung dito pa lang, na-reach na ng calculator yung limit, what about here? Kaya ba natin talagang isolve to? Can we really solve this using our calculator? Okay, let's do it. Now, your calculator has a function in up. So, up 5. Up 5. No? So, let me represent this. Up 5, you will notice there, Q... R. Q for quotient, R for remainder. So, let's do it. Up 5, no? Up 5. So, when we put it, you will see Q, R, no? So, this is the key. Quotient, dot, 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 remainder. Open parenthesis. So, you just put 3 squared, then comma, so, 3 squared. Then, right arrow key para bumaba. So, shift, close parenthesis, that is for comma. The divisor, 7 equals. So, even you don't put the close parenthesis, that's automatically understood. There is a parenthesis. So, the answer here is quotient equals 1, remainder equals 2. Is the remainder 2 correct? Yes. What about this one? We try. So, backspace, replace 2 by 4. Okay? So, this is quotient 11. Quotient 11, remainder 4. Correct? Correct. On your calculator. Okay. What about this one? Backspace. So, let us replace 4, the exponent 4 by 10. We expect this is the quotient, this is the remainder, equals... So, the remainder is 4, quotient 84, 35, correct? Okay. What about this one? Let's replace 10 by 12, equals. So, 75, 920, remainder 1. Simple. Up 5 is the key, right? What about this one? So, replace 12 by 20, right? Equals. So, what is the remainder? 2. So, this is going to be, for this, you'll have... 4981120570 remainder equals 2. The remainder is 2. Right? You follow? What about 3 to the 30 divided by 7? So, let's try. So, let us replace 20 by 30. So, QR, this one. So, up 5, QR 3 to the 30, comma 7 equals. What is the response? What is in your calculator? Math error. Hindi kaya ng calculator to 3 to the 30, comma 7. Right? You get it? Okay, how do we now solve this? May isa pang method, no? Pero it gives only the remainder. Yung up 6. Okay. So, another method here is up 6. Let's repeat this again. Up 6. So, mod or modulo, no? So, that is 3 squared 7. 3 raised to 7. Right? Comma, that is shift, close parenthesis, then 7. So, that is 3 squared, no? So, press equals. What is the answer? 2. That is the modulo 9,7. So, let us replace 2 by 4 para sa second problem. 4 equals. So, the remainder is 4. You get it? Let, let us replace 4 by 10. Let's see it. 10 equals. So, that is 4, right? The remainder is 4. Correct? Let us replace 10 by 12 equals. So, remainder is 1. Correct? Let us replace 12 by 20 equals. The remainder is 2, correct? Let us replace 20 by 30. The remainder is <laughs> math error. It cannot handle it, okay? But modulo 
will have better capability than just the quotient remainder. Look, let us try to the 25 using modulo, no? So, let us replace 30 by 25. So, 3 to the 25, this one will have a remainder of 3, right? What about do it using up 5, yung quotient remainder? So, we use up 5. So, quotient remainder, 3 to the 25, comma 7 equals math error. Modulo, up 6 can handle this, but quotient remainder, up 5, cannot handle this, right? You get it? But both cannot handle 3 to the 30 over 7. How are we going to solve this now? You get it? How do we handle it? I will just use the modulo, huh? the up 6. Okay? Look here. Let us represent this one. 3 to the 4th over 7. So I can explain better the solution. So let's do math in slow motion. 3 to the 4th is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 divided by 7, right? Correct. So this is the same as 9 over 7, correct? Times 9. So this is 9 over 7 times 9. 9 divided by 7 is the same as 1 remainder 2. 1 plus 2 over 7, right? This is the quotient. This is the remainder. This is the divisor multiplied by 9. So, I can have here 9 times 1, 9, plus 2 times 9, over 7, right? So, we are sure that this portion will not be part of the remainder. The one that will yield the remainder is the remaining operation division by 7. You get it? So, take note that I will be back to this portion when I divide 9 by 7, right? So, I will be having here... 9 plus 2, this is the first remainder, correct? This is the first remainder times this one. This is 1 plus remainder 2 over 7. This remainder times this quotient will be part of the whole number. So this is now 9 times 2 times 1, that is 2. 9 plus 2, that is 11, right? Plus... 2 times 2 over 7, that is 4 over 7. This is the first remainder. This is the second remainder, right? So we are left with 4 over 7. Since this is already bigger than this, this is already the remainder. You follow? You get it? Naintindihan? Okay. How shall I do that here? Let me conclude here. Our remainder will be the product of the remainders... What if this is still more than 7? You just divide again. You get it? So just leave all the remainders. For example, let me expand 3 to the 10. Okay? So for 3 to the 10, 3 to the 10, that is the same as 3 to the 5, 3 to the 5, right? Over 7. Over 7. What is 3 to the 5 over 7? 3 to the 5 divided by 7 is this one. So, it is 34. 34 remainder 5. So, plus 5 over 7 times 3 to the 5. So, take note that the remainder here is 5. So, this is going to be 3 to the 5 times 34. We are sure that is a constant, right? A whole number. So, plus what will be left will be 3 to the 5 times this. So, this would be 5 over 7 times 3 to the 5 again. So, this is going to be equal to 34 times 3 to the 5 plus. This is the same as 5, the first remainder, times 3 to the 5 over 7. But 3 to the 5 over 7 is going to be equal to, same thing as this, 34 plus 5 over 7, right? So, 5 times 34 plus 5 over 7. 
5 times 34 will be part of the constant. Your constant will be 34 times 3 to the 5 plus 5 times 34. Okay? Plus 5 times 5, the product of 2 remainders, 5 times 5 over 7. This is not yet a remainder because that is greater than 7. But 25 over 7 is what? 3 remainder 4, right? Okay? So that is 25 over 7. That is 3 remainder 4, correct? So you have 34 times 3 to the 5 plus 5 times 34 plus 25 over 7 is 3 plus remainder 4. 4 over 7. Finally, the remainder is 4 and this is the quotient. You calculate that. That is 34 times 3 raised to 5 plus 5 times 34 plus 3. That is going to be 84, 35 plus 4 over 7. This is the remainder, right? 84, 35 plus 4 over 7. You get it? So finally, the one that is giving the remainder is the product of remainder or remainders divided by 7 again until you get a number smaller than the divisor. You get it? You follow? Okay. Let us go back to this now. So how do we handle this now? So your calculator can handle up to 3 to the 25 over 7, right? But for easy computation, I will just use 3 to the 20. Okay. So 3 to the 20 divided by 7, what is the remainder? We are not after the answer, the quotient, just the remainder. So 3 to the 20, I will have modulo up 6. 3 raised to 20, comma, so shift, close parenthesis, 7 equals. So the remainder here is 2, right? So this is, has a remainder of 2. Ulitin ko yung function. Isulat ko lang dito, ha? The modulo mode 6 of 3 to the 20, comma, 7, meaning this divided by 7, the remainder is... 2. Okay? So, this is our remainder. So, remember what I told you, the last portion or the last part will be the remainder, the product of remainders divided by the divisor. Right? If the product is already lower than the divisor, that is already the remainder. Otherwise, continue dividing. Okay? So, this is going to be 3 to the 20. 3 to the 201 is 3 to the 200 times 3 to the 1. Agree? 201, right? Divided by 7, correct? So this is 3 to the 20 times 3 to the 20 times 3 to the 20. Ilang 3 to the 20 yung 200? 10. So, this is times 3 to the 20 times 3 to the 1 over 7. Each time you divide this by 3 to the 20, you'll have a remainder of 2, right? So, this is the same as 3 to the 20 to the 10, right? There are 10 3 to the 20s. Each 3 to the 20 divided by 7 will have a remainder of 2. So, we will end up with 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, the product of remainders. So, 2 to the 10 times 3, right? Over 7. You get it? We are just after the remainder. So, to find the remainder of this, this is modulo up 6 of 2 to the 10 times 3, comma 7. Press equals the answer to modulo function is the remainder. So the remainder here is 6. You follow? You get it? Okay? Or our conclusion, what is 3 to the 200? 1. 3 to the 200 times 3 to the 1 times 7. And this is the same as 3 to the 20 
to the 10 times 3 over 7. Pwedeng over all over 7. So, pwedeng isahin mo lang the remainder of this to the 10. Remainder of this to the 10 times 3 divided by 7 again. You get it? You get it? So, remainder of this to the 10 times 3 divided by 7 ulit. So, 3 to the 20 over 7, that is remainder 2. Pwede mong gamitin to. So, that is modulo 3 to the 20 over 7, right? So, modulo 3 to the 27, correct? So, this one, the remainder of this to the 10. Raised to 10. Even there is no parenthesis, okay? Then, that one times 3 times 3 divided by 7 again, right? Divided by 7 again. And you want the remainder. So, take again the modulo of this, comma, 7 equals. Let me try. So, multiple modulo, no? Up 6 of the modulo, up 6, 3 to the 20, comma, 7, 7, close parenthesis, times 3, comma, 7, close parenthesis, equals. And that is 6. That is the remainder. You follow? Kahit gano kataas, pwede. You get it? You follow? Okay? What if the question is like this? 3 to the 5,003 divided by 7. What is the remainder? Okay? Let's do it. So, let's break this only into 3 to the 20. Okay? So, 25 will be fine, right? But 20 will be easy because it ends with 0. Okay? So, 5,000 can be broken into 3 to the 20. So, this is the same as 3 to the 5,000 times 3 to the 3. 5,000 plus 3, 5,003 divided by 7, right? 5,000 is the same as 3 to the, how many 3 to the 20s? 5,000 divided by 20, how much is that? 5,000 divided by 10 is 500 divided by 2 is 250, correct? 250 times 20 is 5,000. Over 7, this is times 3 to the 3, right? Correct. So, we say that the remainder of this, so, remainder of 3 to the 5,003 divided by 7 is going to be the modulo or the remainder of 3 to the 20, what is the remainder from previous problem? 2, right? So, this would be 2 to the 250 times 3 to the 3, right? Over 7, correct? So, only the remainder of this, okay? So, the remainder of 3 to the 5,003 divided by 7 is the remainder of this divided by 7, correct? So, can your calculator already handle this? Not yet. Because it can only handle something like 3 to the 20 divided by 7, something like that, 2 digits, right? So, let us break this again, 2 to the 250 over 7. I think 2 to the 25 can be handled by your calculator, right? So, this is the same as 2 to the 25 to the 10 over 7 times 3 to the 3. What is the remainder of 2 to the 25 over 7? Let me do it. It's modulo of 2 to the 25 comma 7. And what is this? Let's do it. So it's up 6, 2 to the 25, shift comma 7 equals. So that is 2, correct? So the modulo of this is 2. So we're down to 2 to the 10, 3 to the 3, over 7, I mean. So, let us get it 2 to the 10 times 3 to the 3 times 3 to the 3, comma 7, okay? Equals. So, the remainder, finally, our answer is to modulo of 2 to the 10 times 3 to the 3, comma 7, meaning this divided by 7, the remainder is... 5. The final remainder to this is 5. Do you understand? You get it? Madali lang, basta alam natin yung method. Your calculator gives you a lot of promising result. You get it?
What about, what is the unit's digit in the expansion of 3 to the 5003? We'll do that next video. Okay? By the way, meron akong good news. For those who are in college and even in elementary and high school, we heard a lot of problem with the transition to online of a lot of schools and most likely this thing will continue for the next school year. So to help universities and high school and colleges, we will be creating a math series for different levels. So we will be starting in high school. So I recommend or I ask all of you to help those who are your juniors or your cousins to subscribe in those series that we will be creating. So subscribe lang sila dito sa YouTube channel natin. Okay?